Welcome, this is part two of the Pro Landscape What's New in version 25 video. Now, if you have not seen part one, part one discusses the new features that we've added in Image Editor, Planner, and Proposal. This one's only going to discuss the new features that we've added for the 3D editor. Now, in version 25, we have done a major overhaul of the 3D editor, uh, so it's going to look much different than it did in previous versions. Now, when we're in Pro Landscape uh, Planner, we're going to uh, do things the way we have normally done. So we're going to draw the foundation walls and the property lines and place plant material just like we did before. Now, certain elements, we will have to add properties to those elements to uh, set the height of those elements. For example, uh, when I select the paver here up in the uh, edit bar, you'll see that I have the... Uh, the paver thickness and then the uh, the elevation of the paver so if I wanted to do a raised patio I could do that pretty easily uh, with uh, the edit bar up here now you will also see that we've added several features in planner uh, that are associated with the 3d editor one of which is the 3d fence tool now you'll see that I have my 3d fence line here okay I also will find the 3D tools here under the drop down menus. Okay, so uh, with this 3D fence tool, I simply outlined uh, the fence area. Okay, now when I generate this into 3D, it's going to show a 3D fence. Now, uh, as far as uh, the deck here on the back of the house, uh, you'll see that, let's go ahead and zoom in, and when I select the deck, you'll see that I've set the deck height at two feet tall. Okay, that's the base of the deck it's set at two feet. Also, when I drew my steps in here, I also set the steps at two feet. And then the railing that I drew here was also set at two feet. Okay, and those tools are all found up here in the uh, 3D toolbar. Okay, also uh, what we've done here is I've placed windows and doors uh, around here simply as placeholders so that I can later add those into our our uh, 3D uh, rendering there. Okay, so uh, once we have everything lined out on our, on our plan here, we're going to uh, go up to our 3D toolbar and check models. And check model, what this does is just to tell me if I'm on the right track. So if I have something that's uh, floating out in space and then I know that uh, that I need to make an adjustment and I, what I would do there is I would close planner and I would go or I, I'm sorry I would close the uh, the 3d uh, check model and I would go back and make the correction in planner okay this one looks okay so I don't really need to do anything here so when I click on the save diskette that's going to launch into our 3d editor okay now that our 3d editor is open uh, we can uh, make some adjustments here. Now, normally the, the time that it takes to launch into 3D Editor will vary depending on the, the processor and the, the uh, graphics card that you have on your system. Now, mine took about, uh, about 15 seconds to, uh, to generate the, the 3D. If you do not have a, a graphics card or a gaming card, you're probably going to run a little bit slower or quite a bit slower. Uh, when opening these files. Now, whenever we have um, items uh, such as pavers and walls and roofs and things like this, uh, we need to apply textures. Okay, now right now this is just set up as a model. So what we're going to do is go down here to the texture tab and I'll go into my, uh, my paver patterns and I'll select a manufacturer there and I'll simply click on a texture drag and drop it up to there. If I don't like that one, I can select another one, simply drag and drop it, and it will replace that. Okay, I'm going to go in here and I'll select my mulch. Okay, so I have a few mulches here that I can apply, so if I just drag that up, we can, we can select a mulch just like that. Okay, drag it up like so. Okay, now I'm also going to go in here and select my texture for doors and windows 
And if I simply uh, select one of these, these are placeholders for the doors, which are in brown. I'm just going to drag that up and drop it in place. Okay, if I want a, a garage door, I'll just drag it and drop it up there. If I want a different color, simply drag and drop it. Okay. Okay, down here at the bottom, you'll see that I have windows. So if I select a window and drag and drop it, it'll apply it there. Now, I can move these around pretty easily. Okay, now as far as the uh, roofing and siding, we're going to go into textures again and I'm going to select my siding and roofing materials. Okay, so if I drag and drop my siding there, I can do that pretty easily. If I want a different type of siding, I simply uh, drag the new siding on top of the old to replace it. Okay, to do the roof texture, we do the same thing. So up here, we'll just drag and drop a roof texture onto it. We can rotate the textures and we can also scale the textures. That's uh, pretty easy to do here. Okay, so let me uh, move around to the back side here and we'll talk about the fencing and the deck here. Okay, so the fencing, I'm going to go into our texture library for uh, fencing and decking. Okay, and I'm going to drag a texture onto that. Now you'll see that the fencing, I wanted a split rail fence, and you'll see that this is not transparent. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go over to our inspector, and we'll select the surface as being transparent. Okay, so now it's transparent. Okay, now if I right click on this and I go to texture, I can stretch the texture. Okay, to give me a, a four rail, a split rail fence, or a stockade fence. Okay, uh, as far as the, the deck goes, I'm just going to drag a, a texture on top of the deck, and now I have a wood deck. Okay, so very easy to drag and drop your materials here to give it a much more realistic look than uh, what you would have seen in uh, the previous versions of the Pro Landscape.